Upscaling video might be easier than you think. Go to the Pixar website, upload the video you want to process, hit process, select the resolution you want to upscale, hit confirm, and you're done. When I did my first AI upscaling video in 2020, you really needed good computer hardware in order to upscale video. Those days are luckily over thanks to services like Pixop. Those services allow you to upscale video without the need for any hardware. In fact, you could follow along this entire video on your smartphone. This quick tip tutorial will be dedicated to showing you how to use the Pixup online service to upscale your videos. Please note that this video is not a comparison of different upscaling providers. If you're interested in seeing how different upscaling services perform, check out the video linked in the video description. And as always, if you have questions about this video or upscaling in general, feel free to join the Creators Exchange Discord server or write your question in the comments of this video. I will try my best to answer your questions. And with that said, let's jump into the how-to part of this tutorial. Things start, of course, by going to the pixop.com web service and then signing in to your user profile. And in your dashboard, you can either press the upload button or simply drag and drop a video that you would like to upscale to this area over here, which will upload the video to the Pixop server. Once the video is uploaded, we can click onto the video's project, which brings us to the overview of all videos of that project. In our case, we just uploaded a single video. So we click onto that video. And in here, we get an overview of the current information of this video. We get a quality score and the higher this score is, the higher is the chance of a very good high quality video upscale. I'm going to demonstrate this upscaling with a video which is, as you can see, not optimal. We have uploaded a 720p video which we would like to upscale to 4K and in this case I would simply go and hit HQ input enhanced UHD 4K. This would upscale this video to 4K. Technically, we could now go and process the video. However, I want to show you what we could change manually if we wanted to. In the tab format, we can decide in which format our video will be available to us once the processing is finished. In the filter tab, we decide what processes we want to run our video through. In our case here, we uh, pre-selected through the factory preset the Pixop Deep Restoration 2, which is their latest um, upscaling algorithm, which uses uh, their deep neural network. It is selected to upscale to a 4K resolution. If you want to change this and go, let's say, for 8K, you of course can do that by just clicking onto the 8K option. In case you recorded the video clip you're trying to upscale with a webcam or a smartphone or any small form camera sensor, you might want to change the fine tuning here to selfie style. In our case, the video was actually shot with a normal camera. And lastly, there is uh, the trim tab, which means that in case we only need a certain section of the video upscaled, we can trim the video and uh, just upscale that section. If you're not sure if the settings you have chosen are correct and you actually like the result, you can click onto the Create Preview button. What that does is uh, Pixup creates a preview file, uh, which is just a, I think, 10 second long piece of your uh, entire clip, which they upscale and present you as a preview. So you can compare the original to the upscaled preview and see if you like the outcome or if you have to go back to your settings and tweak any of those. Uh, once you're happy with your settings that you have dialed in, you would simply go to the Process button and in here, Pixop tells you exactly how long it thinks it will take to upscale the entire thing and how much it costs. It even tells you to the filter how much each filter will cost you for upscaling and converting. And this is one of the reasons why I like this Pixop online service so much. I just pay for what I need. So if I have a client which for whatever reason just has a 20 second clip, I can just charge them for that clip and I don't need to go out and buy a multi hundred euros or dollar software that does the same thing. This is one of the things I really like about the service. On their website, Pixop also has this nice little tool which gives you a quote of how expensive a process would be. So just plug in the length of your video and which processes to apply and you see how much that would cost. 
Once the processing has completed, you can simply click onto your video, then choose download and select which version of the video you want to download. We have the original and the 4K version. If you create other versions of the videos, for example, let's say an 8K version and that has processed as well, this would be added to this list and you can download from here as well. So let's download the 4K video and jump to the comparison. I hope this video helped. In case you want to see more AI upscaling related videos, make sure to follow this channel. And if you want to give Pixop a try and support me in the process, feel free to use the affiliate link in the video description down below. I am Greeny, this is Greenbox, and I'll see you in another video, probably one of the videos that are here on the end card. Thanks for watching and I'll see you there. Bye.